starting with tying a basic clove hitch. We have this piece here is one of our six foot vertical supports and we're going to lash this to one of our eight foot, well not quite horizontal supports, but you go over, cross over the first piece, come back through, and under. You'll notice a very distinct H pattern. That gets pulled tight, sandwiched together. Basic clove hitch. This is going to hold pretty well under a lot of conditions. I tend to wrap this underneath and just fold it back through. From here, go under. The clove hitch starts the square lash. It goes underneath, over, These are called wraps. Each lashing, which is a process of holding two or more pieces of building wood together, each lashing is a combination of wraps, which are the pieces that hold the two pieces of wood together, and fraps. Now a frap, for some of us, is a nice delicious ice cream treat. But it is also a process by which, see how I'm going around it? And I'm pulling it tight. So this isn't going around the wood anymore. This is going around the center of the wraps. And you're gonna do about three of those pulling tight with each one. The tighter you pull initially, the less this is gonna slide. Comes back through. And another wrapping it up with another clove hitch. Pulling it tight. Cutting off some excess. Hold on to these little pieces. These are great craft pieces uh, for sections on primitive jewelry making, primitive art, etc. So this is a basic square lashing, which is three wraps, three fraps, and this is going to hold these two together. It's not going to slide much. It's actually going to have, I'm putting some substantial pressure on this here. This is actually going to hold it pretty well.